Mace returns to King's Landing and attends a small council meeting to discuss his children's imprisonment, which is soon interrupted by Jamie, Cersei, and Gregor Clegane. When Cersei questions Olena's presence, Mace begins to defend his mother, but she quickly speaks for herself. Mace rises and follows his mother and Kevin when they leave the chamber. Later, Mace leads Tyrell troops through King's Landing on horseback and wearing armor with an extravagantly plumed helmet, meeting Jamie Lannister and pausing to give a rather pompous speech. They proceed to the Sept of Baelor to stop Marjorie's Walk of Atonement and free both his children. Olena also joins them. After Jamie and the High Sparrow square off and Tommen emerges from the Sept, Olena signals Mace to stand down his men. After the king gives a speech, Mace is baffled and asks his mother what's happening. Visibly annoyed, she tells him the High Sparrow has beaten them. Mace is present when Tommen makes a royal announcement regarding the date of both Cersei and Loras's trials and that the practice of trial by combat is abolished. Mace is visibly uncomfortable during the king's speech but does not speak. Mace is present at his son Loras's trial in the Great Sept of Baelor. He is visibly distraught when Loras joins the Faith Militant and tries to intervene when his son has the symbol of the Seven carved into his forehead, but Marjorie restrains him. He, Marjorie, Loras, and everyone present at the trial, are killed from the explosion of wildfire caused by Cersei in her plot to destroy her enemies. Unlike the others, Mace does not panic but instead uses his last moments to share a sad glance with his children. Despite having constantly belittled and mocked her son's lack of intelligence, Olena is clearly grieved by his death, as well as those of Marjorie and Loras, which drives her to seek alliance with both Dornay and Daenerys Targaryen, in order to gain vengeance against Cersei.